several divisions of abrams m one eight two tanks bradley m three s and support vehicles are deploying in operation removal units from the american third armored division are moving out of the city this morning in an apparent sweep south and to the east joint libyan tunisian armored columns launched a massive attack last wednesday moving north through tunisia the attack was made after libya's dictator accused the president of tunisia of plotting to assassinate him the tunisian band underground islamic fundamentalist party al nada the rebirth has joined forces with the libyans several divisions of the tunisian army apparently sympathetic to the al nada cause have joined with the libyan forces while the majority of the tunisian army continues to fight against the invasion american units have yet to engage the joint libyan tunisian forces but that is almost certain to occur yeah. within the next 24 hours as the president has publicly declared all the to be bringing those abrams things congressional opinion appears to be split along party lines the outcome of this impending conflict is far from certain unlike the desert storm conflict with iraq american units have had little time to prepare and the libyans appear to be making none of the costly tactical errors made by the iraqis army sources in tunisia are privately concerned that libyan momentum may be difficult to overcome and rumors of more sophisticated thermal viewers and munitions in the soviet-built t-72s being used by the libyans may result in significantly higher u.s casualties than desert storm unless the americans deployed here can stop the libyan tanks military experts agree that the capital may fall in as little as four days our military consultants believe that the current U.S. Armed Forces deployment strategy indicates an attempt to sweep south by southeast to prevent the Libyan Tunisian forces from reaching the eastern coast and to force them back into Libya. While Tunisia is unknown to most Americans, Tunisia not bad. You have very good info. Major land battles. Over 50 years ago, this dry, inhospitable terrain was the site of some of the largest tank battles of World War II as English forces under Montgomery battled German forces under the command of the great desert fox, Rommel. Rommel. Yeah, not bad. Um, so, pretty good intro. We pulled off this news report. It seems like we have a situation there in Tunisia. Jimmy's, get into your Abrams tanks. It's time. Yeah, Smart Wargames here. Let's check out Spearhead. Uh, interactive Magic. Yeah, tank sim card. Yeah, sim card or sim action. It is not, uh, it is more tied to action, yeah, going more into the direction of Nova Logic. In fact, quite similar to um, Nova Logic's Armored Fist. And a bit away from what they had there with their IM1A2. Yeah, released in the late 90s, running 3D engine. Uh, you can't currently get it anywhere. At least not on GOG or Steam. Need to find a copy somewhere. And yeah, running it on Windows 10 might be possible because you can can also run it with 3DFX, which is easier to emulate. Or you can install it in 3DFX. Um, not sure if you need rec keys, if you can simply move the installation folder. Yeah, we, with other games that didn't work out. On the other hand, I managed to install two installs, but that is not a proof that you don't need rec keys, as rec keys are not always bound to installation folder, or seldom bound to installation folder. Yeah, so running it on Windows 10 might be difficult, and if you do, you might also want to try software mode, or run it in a VB. Good. Yeah, the campaign, we might check that out, but let's first get into some action. I want to blow up some stuff. Yeah, that is a mission. Quick, or, uh, yeah, quick mission. Collection. 
Good, we are here. Roger that. Yeah, that is a 3D version. Somewhat similar to M1 Tank Platoon 2 by Microprose graphics style. Has its charm, yeah. Yeah, those um, tank interiors are gone and replaced by your yeah, aiming reticles, etc. You still can get into the driver's seat, gunner seat, and the commander seat. There's still some sim aspects like that you can um, get the turret over, yeah. See uh, f that the commander can take control of the turret, override. Lazing targets, ammo selection, so everything is here basically what makes somewhat an authentic tank sim. Uh, let's start rolling. You may watch out with the tank. Tony, that was close. Good. Tony, stop. Stop always coming into my videos. Uh, Tony is the star here. Okay, load. Let's prepare heat, yeah, something is blowing up here. And I'm currently sitting in the commander position, with B you can break. Yeah, you can use that thing here, the commander TV. With control you can also speed it up, and with M you can zoom in. Also Tony's blew up there, business as usual here, in Desert Storm. Tony! Why is he circling me to me? Assume formation circling. Okay. Ah yeah, we might want to activate Firmus. That is better. Yeah. Yeah, I need to check the map. A tank status. That is my platoon, yeah, that's the boys we're riding out here. No, uh, no, uh, <laughs> and looking for targets. Oh, seems like somebody was already here. Yeah, finally we're getting here some formation done. Nobody's circling me. Stop. Jimmy, that is enemy tanks looking for blood. But we will look first for them. Identified. Load that saber round. You're good to go. Ah. Yeah. You have control. Identified. Is it not enemy? <laughs> Let me take the gun over. That <laughs> Bradley, god damn it, man. Tony, that was a bit not good. Not good. Got Shimmy. Lace. Fire. fire. The Tony seems to be still operational. Give him one, another fire. one. On that looks good. Target. Another one, lace, fire. fire on the way. Yeah. Took that beating. Identified. Identified. Fire on the way. Nice. Target. 
I see another Jimmy here. Antenna coming out. Okay. Identified! Fire! On the way! Target. Those guys take two shots or what? Ah, more. Identify fire on the way. That was a nice ballis uh, nice ballistics. But that is uh, that looked rather like a heat round. On the way. On the other hand, can't uh, the distance 1600 meters is quite let's try heat rounds. But that is rather for personal carriers. They always want a double pack, yeah, Bradley. Do you even that they got from Nova Logic? I mean, that game is not inspired by Nova Logic. But. In Armored Fest, you also always have those very curious Bradleys that ride over riches and blow up. But I press some button or what? I guess I take took control of the turret with my commander somehow. Uh, this happened to me. Oops, now it is reactivated. Oh, well, you can also order the gun at uh, C heat source. What I like in this game is um, that those stations handle pretty good. Why armor can't pull something like this off that easy? I don't know. Too difficult. No, said not nothing. No. Uh, we can take control of the turret like I do here and release it again. Maybe that is something. No, I think that thing is a goner, right? That's a turret, so what is it? And then you can also fire the gun yourself. Ah, uh, somebody's circling me again. And with a num block, seven and nine keys, you can. Drive. This enemy APCs could be as M113 freeze, but they look not operational.
uh, uh, retreat. Yeah, I have a tank line there. down Ah, okay. Yeah, I get it. The gunner can't fire. This is lower than my viewpoint. It's a bit too much here. Sometimes I need to clear the gun to get the dust out. Good. Check if we have something on the other side. Yeah, nice. I mean, it is yeah like armored fist, but perhaps at least at least this battle here is still more realistic. Yeah. Accessible tank game with enough realism to warrant that you can say it is somewhere because armored fist is sometimes going over the top of helos, RT tanks. Yeah, depending on mission design, it might turn into a Full action game. I mean, some missions are quite good, but Armored Fist has some also authentic elements, yeah, which makes I think which makes simply tank action fun. I find sometimes those games where you simply need to aim your gun and fire to be boring. Are we out of sabot? What is going on? Fine. Load heat. Nice smoke screening. Let's activate thermos. Moin, Desmo Brenner. Good. Yeah. Out of Sabot. What is this? Jimmy's here. Nothing. Well, wait, there's another one. We may put to go over the gun. Where's my gun? Are we back? Yeah. I press the wrong button. Okay, yeah, there was some uh, gameplay here.
Ja. Tankporn hier. <lacht> Mission accomplished. Gut. Check out the campaign mode. Yeah, so that is basically the story you witnessed in the well-made intro. Somewhat more tied to realism and immersion. Yeah, compared to M1A1, this doesn't come here with some tank management. There is a map, there is a tactical map in the game, but everything is somewhat reduced. <clears throat> the commanding aspect is reduced more to you cruising around and firing, firing on stuff, yeah, which is fine. Um, just because there is a command aspect doesn't mean that you will use it. Uh, most people that might perhaps rather want simply to drive a tank or the command a platoon, and that's it. Yeah, but no progressive mechanics or whatever. Crew report! Driver ready! Loader ready! Gunner ready! Black 6, my elements are Redcon 1! Is that an enemy helo? Friendly! Blue and blue! No, I don't believe you. You're returning from the enemy lines. That should be because I have support provided your cuss. Uh, stop firing on me. Well, that thing is so... Ah, okay. With control you can sometimes modify. And for the gunner... Which is somewhat true, yeah, you... The gu with the gunner you might also have high speed. But you're basically supposed to acquire a target roughly, then to zoom in with M, adjust, and then when you zoom very close, zoomed in, you get fine controls. So you always have this SOP basically here in the game to zoom in or acquire, zoom in, zoom in again, fine tune, fire. Yeah, that is here the... wait, let me first fix my... James, somebody's already shooting here 80 gems at me. Who is that culprit? Yeah, found him. BMP. Load. Heat. Heat. Oh, heat is already loaded. Okay, yeah, now I can show you the map. That is a map here, basically. Yes. Map tools here. Uh, but that's it. But like the um, M181 game where you really can command around, like in CBs and give orders. It is basic stuff simply for situation I want. Is, uh, mission planning is. I mean, you have orders, yeah, you can ask call in. RT is somewhat similar to M1A1 Platoon, yeah. Give movement orders to your platoon. Call in some air support. Call in resupply. Repair. I think that's very close to M1A1 A1 platoon 2. Um, do as I do. Uh, simply the tanks will follow you and do the same as you do. You can also send. Sometimes you it's out and give them basic orders, yeah. Like reconnaissance or whatever it is. Yeah, I must say I really enjoy this game. It has... It is not a real action game, as sometimes sometimes described some on the internet. Yeah, it is between. Yeah. But less action than, I would say, Armored Fist.
but uh, Armored Fist depends on mission design. There's also some really nice missions in Armored Fist. But here the mission design is still quite grounded, which I like. I don't like those tank sims that throw you into the fray uh, with entire divisions coming at you uh, while it's just being loaded into the mission. Here you have rather, you see big areas and it is very nice pacing, you will have target rich environments uh, and have a campaign here with some story to play. Rather realistic conflict simulated here, not some Jimmy be going over there for whatever reasons, blow up some stuff or simply some missions. Uh, simply select a mission list and that's it. Ah, that's for multiplayer. Yeah, I really like it. Um, thanks to Sturm und Drang for bringing it up. Uh, he was... He really introduced me into... I was already thinking I'm done. I'm done, Jimmy. I was already about to retire. <laughs> that Sturm und Drang came over man, and he finds us a games. It's unbelievable and it's not some crappy games. Yeah, we're not talking about some crappy uh, war games. Nobody want, uh, I mean, it's, it's always a matter of taste, of course. But this tank sim here is quite decent. Yeah, that is, I think, also others. Yeah, If you're not into retro, it's fine. Yeah, uh, It's of course a bit retro from the graphics or what else, but it is definitely a decent tank sim, yeah, and we often hear people saying there's no other tank sims or there were only a few, but if you look, uh, you sometimes find very good games. Uh, like I am one and I Panzer 44, I'm rather surprised of the, oh, on, uh, yeah, how I like those games, and yeah, I recommend you if you don't, if that is, yeah, if you're not scared away because of the that you might might require some effort to set it up, then definitely go for those games. Uh, I don't know what goes on with inter interactive ma magic or whoever is holding the rights nowadays. But they should release those games on GOG for, I don't know, 5 or something like that. And those games would sell. Huh? And GOG, they are experts, they know how to handle it, that those games run in some sort of emulation via mouse click. Uh, one click. Those games would definitely still have... There would be definitely people that would like to buy and play those games. Uh, I talked with Sturm und Drang about this, that Interactive Magic really made some good games, but rather their entire library is unknown, yeah, that is a shame. Uh, a lot of good war games or sims, yeah, war sims lost in eternity. So good that we made this video here, nice find, and yeah. See you in the next episode. It's not over yet. I still am finding one that deserves a playthrough. <laughs> you think yeah, there's still something. I think we really found every n notable war game on the in the universe. V2. Okay. <laughs>